The infidels of Australia. Nowhere is safe. We will come for you. And when we find you, there's only one fate. Oh. That's right! I'm the party terrorist. No event is too big or too small. We do bash nights, hands nights, baby showers, divorces, funerals. Do it all. Just call our number. What do you think? Sick, bro. Wow. Do you realize what you're doing, bro? You're helping everyone think that we're terrorists. How's it making look terrorist, brother? I'm playing around. It's an entertainer. Yeah, and it's really offensive. It's not offensive. It's cutting edge. I'm putting the fun back in fundamental. Putting the dumb back in dumber. Bro, no one's gonna hire a terrorist as a party entertainer. Yeah, who wants to play past a ticking parcel? You flop. 87 missed calls. Yeah, grong. And already 112 views on YouTube. Have a look. This party terrorist is gonna explode, bro. Ooh. La 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 la. That's for foo foo. But auntie, I'm starving. This one's for you. I don't want this. I want that. How tight. Well, not on footy night. Everything has got to be just right. What do you mean? Footy night, sex night. Uh, hey, whoa, whoa. Like what? As if you didn't know. No, 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 no way. way. Without it, we might not even be here. We've got Bulldogs, Tigers, 98, Feb 99. Bulldogs, Panthers. 92, born April 93. And then we've got Bulldogs Dragons 90, born June 91. I'll rest my case, you dickheads. I'm gonna hate the dragons. Ha, well, here they come. Here they come. Habib. Well, here they come. Here they come. Well, here they come. Oh, here they come. Oh. to the library. No, I just mugged a nerd. Oh, lucky it wasn't a super nerd. Why, do you guys fight back? Yep, we just bamboozle you with facts, throw calculators, you know. <laughs> you doing anything tonight? No, I'll probably just flop down in front of the TV, watch a soppy rom-com. Yeah, me too. You know, bin nights tomorrow night. Happy 21st, darling. Yeah, my 21st was last year. Well, you were overseas, darling. Yeah, on purpose. Remember what happened at my 18th? Oh, no one was injured. Not seriously. My sweet princess is just going to slip into something less comfortable and be right back. Now, don't be too long, darling, because I've got a very special surprise for you later. Well, look at you, Bin Laden. <laughs> Twenty first, and you come back here. Hey, and our dad says he's the smart one. <laughs> I wasn't invited. Bro, it's like a fight. One in, all in. Yeah, I don't think Maddie wants me there. Oh my god, who cares? Next door, there's probably war tour celebs. Here, there's just celebs. Brother, this is your chance to show Maddie you're not a flop. She's gonna go for some up collar private school wanker, not a wog boy from the western suburbs. That's your selling point, bro. You're the forbidden fruit. Uh, the forbidden fruit was an apple. I'm pretty sure everyone's had frickin' apple. Don't be Kenefi or your life Elias. Oh, I love Kenefi. I feel like it right now. Look, I'm not soft, all right? Come on, bro. Prove it. Yeah, yeah prove it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maddie. Um, oh. What's your name? Oh, my name's Elias, baby. Yeah, I, I, I always see you walking down the street, right. but I can't hear right. me. You know what I mean? Fine. Sorry, all right. Let's go, but don't make it out like you're doing it for me. You guys just want to go and party. Now you're talking, bro. Yes. Bro, maybe <laughs> she'll let you hold her hand. <laughs> He's an idiot! Bro, your cologne's so hectic, my mascara's running. I'm sorry, is hell freezing over? Well, your party did just get a lot cooler. I told you this was a bad idea. Mrs. O's, have you been speeding? Because you got fine written all over you. Ooh, who do we have here? We do not have anyone. We should get back to our Excuse bucket me. of gin. Mrs. O'Neill, 
Well, thank God you're here. Can you please remove these gate crashes? Well, I'm here on another matter. Sorry to say, your brother's been arrested. Bobby, he... Oh, what for? For partying in the first degree. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, yes, oh. <laughs> you like that? Oh, oh, yes, yes, I do. Hey, sis, you miss me or what? No. Oh, no. hey, hey, Jackie boy. No, you... You will not. You are not invited. Well, you see, technically, he was. I, I was emailing him about a few things, and it just—it happened. You will not ruin my night. Actually, it's Madison's night. Hey, why don't you take the stick out of your ass? It might make it easier to dance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Maddie? Maddie, Maddie, I got you something. Oh. A strip search. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, bye. Oh. It's him. Oh, no. Him. My sensei. You got to get in there. Man, this is your worst idea since the cat frisbee. Bro, relax. But it's all good. The Habibs can go to the party. Then the party comes to the Habibs. Hey, Matty, don't be like that. Ah. I can't believe you invited him. I didn't invite him. I haven't spoken to him in six months. It's my 18th all over again. Well, no, we're not on a boat and we're not on fire oh, yet. Good. Look, it's a family occasion, OK? Bobby is family. And he's a 51% stakeholder in the company. I can't do anything without his signature. What signature? Oh, it's that stupid biscuit you keep banging on about, Look, isn't it? the Anzac lover is not a stupid biscuit. I think it's very, very special. It's not natural. It's the labradoodle of biscuits. It's a Franken-biscuit. So you're using my party that I, like, didn't ask for for a company meeting? Yeah, well, yeah, OK, I do concede. There are a lot of people here from the major chains who will stock the Anzac lover if I could only get Bobby out of a brothel long enough to sign the papers. Look. All right, did I use your party as a honey trap? Yes, I can see. Do I feel like a complete pooey about it? Yeah, absolutely, but is he leaving this party without signing those papers? Not on your Nelly. Because I am Daddy Biscuits, and tonight, Daddy Biscuits yeah, will take... Yeah, stop saying Daddy Biscuits. Oh. oh, no, 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 not tonight of all nights. Well, come on, Daddy Biscuits, do something. Otherwise, we'll be back at Baker's Delight. <laughs> well, this is just terrific. No one can see their canapes. Mrs. O'Neill, I just wanted to check if everything's okay. Yes, yes, it's fine. Thank you. Really? Because if you wanted to move the party over to our place. No, that won't be necessary. Party's moving next door, everyone! No, it's not! Grab what you can carry! Yeah. Follow me to the promised land! The power will be back on in just a minute. Come on! Where are you going? Come on! Madison! What? My party, I can leave if I want to. Jack! Jack! What do you think you're doing? Oh, sorry, darling. Biscuits to settle. It's time to party! Habib Staro! Allah! Anthea! Oh, come on, darling. Oh, hello. All the ladies, put your hands up in the air. What's your name? Invasion. The sooner the power's fixed, the sooner we can get out of what's left of your hair. <laughs> Call an electrician. Well, you see, there's the business of the tradies, black man, and since you're so handy, man. Yeah, that's about right. Fix this, fix that. I've done my tweeting, I've done the Instagram, and I've heard nothing. It's so dumb. Some A-list party. These people aren't even in the alphabet. Well, where are you guys? Uh, I'm just going to Excuse Uber. me, I seem to be a bit lost. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you were on the phone. Oh, nah, it's just charity. They... Oh, just... well... Yes, hello. I'm sure you're doing wonderful work, but... Uh... Uh, she of the prettiest name, uh, uh, Layla, is busy charming me right now, so I'm afraid you're going to have to wait your turn. Now, as I was saying, I seem to be a bit lost, but I think you've found me. Sorry, I just... No, 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 it's, it's quite all right. I was already blinded by that dazzling trinket. 
Would you like a gin and tonic? What's that? It's a drink. Well, ladies first. Start with the hummus, then take the baba ghanoush, then take this. And Mariam, honestly, you don't need to worry about any of this. We have proper food organised, haven't we, Raoul? You can't have too much food. Ah, oh, well, yes, you can, actually. <laughs> Big night. I remember Tufik's 21st. I cooked for two weeks. We had 21 drummers and we closed up the street. Wowzer. <laughs> Madison's 18th, we only managed two arrests and a short siege, but that was all the same person. Oh, kids, huh? <laughs> yes, kids. May I say, Mariam, you look radiant tonight. Thank you. Our biscuits, you made them. Yes, all going well tonight. We should be in production on the Anzac Lover by Anzac Day. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> yes. You've done a great job. We've done a great job. But duty calls. Excuse me. Uh, Bobby, a word? Christ, Jack, can it wait? I'm stinging for a piece. Yeah, well, actually, no, look. Once you try this new line of biscuits, I think this is the greatest thing we've done in a generation. You've done it, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, you've really cracked it this time. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you, mate. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, of course I bloody am. You know, everyone always said you're a dead weight. Well, I'm not really. Yeah. Heard that, but this, mm -hmm. a beer-flavoured biscuit, I mean, that that's genius. It's not beer-flavoured. Really? It is now. <laughs> Lighten up, Jackaroo. We're not curing cancer. Party was in my room. It is now. <laughs> Don't shake that. Why not? It's never been shaken before. You've never shaken it? I bought it and forgot about it, and then a few years later I thought it would be fun not to shake it. Yeah, not shaking things up. That sounds like your kind of fun. Hey! <laughs> Here we go. Did you write that song I put on for you? Oh, baby. What's your name? I don't even know your name. Andrea. You want me better, don't you? Stop talking. Get that leisure suit off, kitties. Um, I am gonna ride you till your eyes water. Oh my God. Now I'm just gonna get something to tie you up. What are you doing? I'm a virgin. <gasps> Fantastic! <gasps> Hi, Madison. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I was just looking for a bandage. This oh. Poor gentleman has hurt himself. Yeah, there are plenty of bandages in that cupboard. Good. We'll leave you to it. Elias. Come to Mama. No! Stop! No. Where are you going? Come back! Look familiar? It's your butler recipe. I found it in their kitchen. First time in four generations it's even been written down and this filthy... He steals it, oh, and then he comes to my house. He's eating my food. That low-down, dirty, thieving snake in a goat's freezer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. For food? No, I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna rip his head off. Then I'm gonna kill him. Jack didn't steal I... it. I gave him the recipe. Wait, I thought you were gonna leave. No way. This party's off the wall. Oh, I look at it. Guy just showed up and you know. Yeah, mum's gonna kill you. Oi, that's Madison's. Told you I had a special surprise. Claire? The prodigal boyfriend returned. Lady Madison of Neil, <laughs> I was lost, and yet you found me. 
Ah, good man, thank you. And a couple more champagnes for the ladies no, over here. No, Blair, he's not a waiter. This is Elias. This is his family's home. Oh, Elias, apologies, Blair Latinson Vaughan. Elias Habib. Habib? How wonderful. That's from, uh, from the Arabic, Habib, yes? Which means uh, sweetheart or beloved. Perhaps I should start calling you my Habib. Blair, don't. Oh, I can't help it. Besides, I didn't come all this way just for a slice of birthday flan. Maddie, I was a pillar. It's fine. It's history. Ah, yes. But it doesn't have to be. Not if you accept this. It's a one-way ticket back to London. First class, <laughs> redeemable at any time. Your happiness is my only care. What an idiot. Hey, can I get a shot of bourbon? Hey, sorry, mate. This party's invite only. Oi, this is my house, all right? Be good. Prove it. I don't have to prove it. I live here. And am I just supposed to swallow that, am I? OK, well, if I didn't live here, can I do that? Ooh. Well, I will see your pot plant and raise you an inflatable shark. Ah! You're going to raise me in my own house? <laughs> Toofy, what are you doing? I like you, bro. Ha! Civic Habib. Bobby Pika, and I'd bloody love a good walk. And I love a skip who's not afraid to show his inner dickhead. Ooh. Hey, tell me, Tufik, old mate, uh, what line of work are you in? I'm in the entertainment game. You'll get it on the night. It's just a recipe. It's more than that. You know, and that's why you didn't say anything. I didn't say anything because I didn't think you'd care. You didn't think I'd care that Jack Bloody O'Neill would be having a go at your butler, what? Hasn't felt like you've wanted it. So you just give it away? He bakes. You never in the kitchen. Well, that's because I'm out doing other things, other things for this family. What, what, what's Jack Bloody O'Neill ever done for us? He appreciates me. I'm not just an entrepreneur. I'm a born performer. Ever since I was born, I knew I had something different. Ah, uh, sorry, Terfik. Excuse me. Secret biscuit business. Yes, very hush hush. <laughs> yes, Bobby. Hey, look around. What do you see? A bunch of rich bricks getting wanked? No, no change. Change is in the air. Yeah, I need to change my jug from empty to full. <laughs> yeah, Australia is undergoing its greatest transformation since the Aborigines drove out the dinosaurs. Yeah, no, I think you'll find that was the other way around. And uh, people's taste in biscuits is changing too, so we need to be ahead of that change or we'll be the dinosaurs. Ah, oh, the two most significant men in my life. One, an accident of birth, the other, a lapse in judgment. <laughs> yeah. I was just explaining to Bobby that we're on the cusp of a biscuit revolution, and he's our revolutionary. Well, he's certainly revolting. Well, better than being a bitter and twisted snake lad. Oh, gee whiz. Well, you did disappoint our father to death and steal the company. Oh, oh. here we go. Pack your bags, oh. Jackie. We're going on a guilt trip. Oh, <laughs> no, let, look, Hayden, come on. Let's not argue about who did or did not kill your papa. Bobby, please, just sign these papers, will you? Then we can all have a civilised debate. You know, I always knew you had a silver spoon up your ass, no. but now I realise it's a whole bloody cutlery drawer. Well, I right. wish you'd stick your head back up yours so we don't all have to look at it. Oh, that's visual. Look, this is exactly the sort of tension that the Anzac lover would diffuse. Yeah, Jack, when are you going to grow a pair and leave her? Is she drove our dad insane, and now she's going to do the same thing to you. <sighs> oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, that's an 82 pole regime. Excellent choice, madam. I love a bit of bubbly. Would you, please? I'm going to take a piece. Oh. Uh. Oi, what's wrong? Uber keeps quitting, and I've got to get out of here. What about your guy? What? The one that talks like Prince Harry and acts like the Baron von Idiot? <laughs> Come on, one knep in the family's enough. We can't both strike out. Yeah, we can. And the same guy got us both. He gave you that hickey? Yeah, he did that. I freaking smash him. I wish he was never gone. Toothy! Toothy! Mate, mate, listen, listen. I have got a piss funny idea that is gonna scare the crap out of my sister, but I need your help. Okay, crashes from Bankstown? No. Great idea. I can have about 500 of them here in about 10 minutes. No, mate, I'm talking about you. Now, when I look at you, I see talent. I see potential. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Wish my dad could see it. Well, this idea of mine is gonna make your daddy very proud. All right. 
So what's his big idea? Mate, you are gonna bloody love it. Listen up. You can't just back me into a corner like that in front of everyone. I was simply trying to express my affection. Oh, is that what you were doing with Christina Pennington? What? Now, she was a mistake. What about the stripper? Oh, you know about that. Look, 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 she wasn't really a stripper. She was more like a high-class escort. Oh, you know what, Blair? You can keep the ticket. Oh. Those are the ones you got on yourself. Bloody hell, Maddie, are you insane? We need to talk about Blair. No, we don't. Blair's history. Heavens to Betsy, Bobby. Please let me guarantee the future of Bonds a bit. Oh, easy, Jack. You've already got half a mango. <laughs> right, all right. Just, will you sign the bloody papers, please? Yeah, all right. Just show me where to sign. Really? Yeah, bend over. Oh, thank you for having faith in me. Oh, I don't. I was just about to get the pants off one of Maddie's friends upstairs. Don't, don't, everybody on the floor! Don't worry, it's just my idiot brother. Oh, man, what are you doing? I'm in the middle of a show. Terrorist, eh? Ooh, look at you in your safe little worlds, eh? You're not so safe now, are you? Because you never know when the big one's coming. <laughs> the party terrorist for all your special occasions. Man, this guy is good. Bro, you should do more shows with me. Uh, I don't think he's faking it. Huh? Of course he is, bro. Uh, no, he really is dead. That'd be heart attack number two. That'd be right. He died doing what he loved best, I suppose. Being an utter dickhead. You are Bonds of Bickies now. All 100%. Bobby's dead, Jack. And so is your precious little Anzac lover. Lost and yet you found me. Oh. Lady Madison? Don't worry, I'll see myself out. So you thought you could get one over my wife? Oh, fool, fool. It was never my intention to exploit anyone, especially not Marion. And, well, the truth of the matter is. The Anzac lover will probably never see the light of day. Au contraire, mon amour. Our friends at You Know Where have just placed an order for half a million units. Looks like a new era at Bonza Biscuits. But gee, will it guess? <laughs> that, that's my Mariam's butler. No, it's the Anzac biscuit that Bonza have been proudly producing for over 40 years with a few frills. Don't you dare. Good night. Ooh. Yes, excuse me. Mm, I think we actually managed to top my 18th, so <laughs> that's something. Mm. Sorry about, you know, family. I'm sorry about mine. I got you something, though. What? <laughs> Leaving now. Now, Madison. Thank you. I wasn't doing it on purpose. I was just trying to promote my business. Yeah. All right, I'll learn my lesson. Oh, not yet, you haven't. First, you're going to go and replace those fuses, put them back, and then you're going to scrub this place from top to bottom. Oh, come on. Hey, you know Mum needs that to time of cooking, Tell right? Tell story walking. She does everything around here. I taped the game, Habibi. <laughs> 